So just like if I don't choose you like one time, then you can just like um, put your hand up the next time. I'll try to answer everybody's question. All right, three, two, one, start. Yes, it's an And what's the best thing with living in Japan? The best thing in living in Japan, um, do I have to say one or many things? Many things. Many things. Okay, so I just talked about this with uh, Manaki today, and it's definitely the 24 hour convenience store. There are at every corner. Um, there are about like just like um, 200 meters, 500 meters walking distance. I have three convenience stores in my house, and you can buy like tape or scissors or food or um, even stockings anywhere. And it's open 24 hours, so it's really a lifesaver. Like you can get pretty much anything you need, so that is extremely convenient and uh, unique to Japan. And also, um, if you like like anime or manga or games, if you like nerdy stuff. There's like plenty of that in Japan. Just you can get at the convenience store. They sell manga books and um, just uh, games. There are uh, stores that are oh, like just um, a thirty minutes drive. There's a huge store with like just gaming, like Japanese games, uh, PlayStation 4 games, Nintendo games. Just like a specialty store with that. Or um, what else? And um, oh, Japan is very international. So I would say like um, they have lots of different types of foods from uh, different countries. So if you miss your food from your country, then uh, it's very easy to find that in Japan. Um, like because of like the big variety there, it doesn't taste exactly like back at home. But I'm saying it's like very uh, culinary. It's very like there's a lot of stuff. So. That's what I think is like really um, convenient about Japan. Um, what else? Ah, uh, I guess you can dress like um, this in not on the countryside but in Tokyo. If you like more fashionable clothes, uh, then people don't look everywhere. If I go out like this in Europe, I look at the stairs, but not in Japan. Uh, at least not in Tokyo. Yes. I hope this helped. Next question. Sweden so far. My favorite thing about Sweden is definitely that um, like I'm I, I'm not very good with hot weather. So like I get really tired in hot weather and um, my skin gets itchy and red. So what I like about Sweden is that it's not as hot in Japan. I know that this is the hottest day since two hundred years, but it doesn't feel hot at all because Japan is so much hotter. And it's, there's no air humidity, so you don't get this like, tired and exhausted feeling. And, um, yeah, I also don't get like the red itchy skin because like, the sun just isn't that strong. I know it feels super hot to you, but, and it, I, but like, the, um, Thursday, oh, <laughs> on a Thursday, I wore like a uh, really like, thick black dress, but I didn't feel hot in it because I'm like just like used to a different climate. So that's what I like. It's summer is kind of like a pleasant kind of summer. So that's what I like. I also like the cute buildings. You'll quite cute buildings in fairy tales. Like, like Anderson's Marathon. I know that it's like Dutch, but it kind of resembles uh, that. In, yeah, so then, I hope <laughs> I hope this was a good answer. Oh, oh, and uh, another thing. Everybody's so friendly here, but especially at Narcon. I'm not sure how was it outside of Narcon, but at Narcon. Everyone's super friendly. I'm having a great time. <laughs> yes. Yes? Um, which is your favorite street to shop going out in Tokyo? Oh, in Tokyo, my favorite street to shop is... Um, I mean, that sounds kind of basic, but it is Takeshi Tadori and uh, La Forêt. Have you heard of La Forêt? It's like a, a shopping center and it has many, many uh, Lolita clothing stores. So that's what I like the most. Kind of like artsy and colorful fashion. Yes, Takeshi Street. Yep. Do you own something from the Japanese brands? No, I don't. I went to the store one time and I contemplated buying something, but I don't know for what reason I just went back. And the thing is about Tokidoki's person, it's in a very like difficult place to find. 
So I don't remember where it is, so I can go back. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to Japan this summer, uh -huh. and yeah, it was really hard to find the good shop. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't own anything yet. Yes, I can answer anything, and um, as good as that, I'll. If you ask me here, I'll pretty much have to answer. If you ask me online, I'll just ignore it. <laughs> How did you meet Maniki? How I met Maniki? So, Maniki used to be a fan. He discovered me on YouTube, he thought my videos were really funny, and he was just a fan. And then, uh, I went to Japan one summer, and, if, and then I went to Disneyland, Disneyland Tokyo. And uh, that day before, like, I guess most people do, I was like, oh, I'm going to Disneyland Tokyo tomorrow, this is what I'm going to be here. And Maniki was like, this is my only chance to meet Rio Sachan, my idol. And then, um, well, that's what he did. But the thing is that Disneyland is super far from where he lives. So he drove like two hours to Disneyland and waited three hours at the entrance for me so he could finally meet me and take a picture of me. So then, uh, when I saw like Maneki, um, I was just like, you know, it was love at first sight. So basically, love at first sight is like, it's just like, Mesmerized, like standing there in the torso, like just like kind of sparkles, and everything is kind of bright. Well, that's how I remember it, but <laughs> I kind of then just like started stalking his, no, I probably shouldn't say it, but I just kind of started stalking his Twitter and looking at what he likes on Twitter, and eventually we started messaging. Um, by the way, I stalked him, I think, for six months, that's how we began. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we started messaging on Twitter and then I came back to Japan. Um, we decided to meet again and then we were still not a couple then. We decided to meet again and we were like, hey, do you want to go to a cat cafe? Because we both like cats. And then we went to a cat cafe and that's kind of like, you know, surrounded by cats, we confessed. And like, we were like, hey, let's be like girlfriend and boyfriend. And I'm his first girlfriend, he's my first boyfriend. And from there on, we just started seeing other each week, like week by week when I was studying Japanese in Japan. Yes, that's how I met and became a couple. I hope I explained that well. <laughs> yes. Yes? How do you manage to keep your skin so pale? My skin so pale? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I was, uh, I've always been very cold since uh, school, uh, since I was a kid. And in school, I was actually teased for having pale skin. Uh, my kids thought it was like disgusting. And now, like on the internet, I get a lot of compliments for it, which I'm of course very happy about. But I have a difficult time tanning, so um, I don't like. I just don't know really, like even if I wear sunscreen, I don't like get tan. Um, then again, I also don't leave my house because I mostly edit a lot. I don't leave my house in the first place, but I guess it's just like how my skin is and like how I was formatted. But honestly, I don't think I'm. Maybe, are you asking me this because you would like to have pale skin? Yeah. No, I don't really think that that is necessary because like pale skin, um, like, um, like I know people like bleach their skin with that dangerous uh, chemicals, but really like don't do that because I think that like. For example, having pale skin is not like really good because in school, like teachers thought I was sick. So, like, um, do you understand the struggle of being pale? Yes. So, I was like, they were like, oh my god, did you eat breakfast or are you okay? I mean, I actually used that and I called in sick when I wasn't sick. I was like, oh, I'm kind of like, you're okay? And they were like, oh my god, you have to take a break. So, that's like a um, uh, the thing about being pale, but honestly, I think you should like appreciate your like natural skin color and pick makeup that suits your skin, and, uh, skin, uh, skin type and skin color, and um, uh, because like I think that people are like born away, like everybody's like different, and you can like make the best out of it. So maybe maybe you just think, oh, pale skin. It's uh, cool because I feel cool and I'm not like bothered by it because I I don't like really try to tan because that would hurt or um like I just try to like not change like how um, like not because that adds unnecessary stress. I hope I explained that well. 
But honestly, I just like because if you have like a little bit like other type of uh, skin shape than me, other types of colors, other types of clothes will fit you, and that is good. It's not something only you can do. So just learn how to rock your own skin, uh, shape of skin. Yes. 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 Uh, well, since we're talking about skin, yes. what's like your favorite uh, skin shape colors, or do you have your uh, favorite color? Yeah. Exactly. Um,
any more questions? Yeah? Um, well, in Japan it's like really hot and it's very humid. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, well, basically I'm going to Korea this summer and the weather is kind of similar. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I sweat a lot. <laughs> so how do you like deal with the sweating? Is there like something you can use? Yes. For Oh, you mean product to combine Japan? Mm -hmm. All right, oh, uh, South Korea. Yes, yes um, so there is this myth going on that there is like no deodorant in Japan, which is a black and black. You can get uh, like deodorant and like sprays that make you smell good. One thing that is good that exists in Japan is like one like it's like deodorant shape, but what it does instead of adding fragrance, it kind of blocks your pores so that sweat doesn't come out. And also, um, I recommend getting a handkerchief, which is also kind of popular in Japan. Um, like everybody carries a handkerchief, and not the thin types, but the like the towel types, you know, the thick ones, uh, and to wipe sweat off. And just carry like uh, two of them in your bag, and then if you get like excess sweat, swipe it off, and the sweat dropper. That's it. Yes. That I hope that helped. <laughs> 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 Yes, anything else? Yep. Yeah. 
superpower would you be? Superpower would be...
videos of me doing the choreographies of Japanese pop music. And then um, a lot of people want to like to know how I do my makeup, so it can escalate with my makeup tutorials, fashion videos, and then just like uh, like uh, with like the request of fans, maybe it's kind of like more personal and like mm, it just starts on like dancing videos and like going into a whole family, kind of like that. Yes. Okay, is there anything else you want to know about YouTube? Mm -hmm. so, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I actually have a YouTube question. When did you feel that, whoa, my channel is starting to grow? Did you have any special moment when your channel like went uh, up into the yes, roof or something? Yes, that uh, was when I did the intro to how to look like a doll video. Uh, it was, I completely remember because it was on the Yahoo front page and that time uh, it was like around 
sure there must be some. Of what kind of people watch my videos, 
but I don't really know how they look. And I only like I know how I like emotionally want to connect with them, but then like standing here and seeing everybody as uh, real humans, it's kind of like uh, like wow, it's actually real human because yeah, it's kind of like different, but um, and I also get a bit nervous because like I don't do this a lot. And I have more experience with the camera, but yeah, I'm. But the feeling is the same. I'm very happy talking to you. Thank you. Yes.
and you can edit sound in there as well. I like Final Cut Pro a lot for Mac. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is a kind of weird question, but if you were single mm -hmm. and Taylor too, mm -hmm. would you be gay for her? Um, no, because she is not my type. So what is your type? Um, my type for girl is like very like pure, like. I like hair that is not dyed and long, so undyed long hair. And so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the uh, clear skin and like um like kind of like modest and girly clothes and maybe like for like beige like kind of like feminine like beige high heels and um chest. <laughs> What's your sexuality? Um, to be honest, I'm very confused about my sexuality. My friends try to help me to kind of like identify <laughs> my um, one, but I think, uh, to be honest, I thought about talking just to a video, so, but kind of it came to this topic, so I think I'm going to talk about this for the first time now here. Um, I think I'm bisexual, but I don't like guys. I don't like like manly guys like with muscles and the beard. I like feminine boys, feminine boys and girls. So Maniki looks very feminine and a bit like girly, so that's I love him a lot. And his voice is also kind of nice. So that's why I'm attracted to Maniki. Yes. <laughs> and girls. I like um I play a lot of like visual novels and I have a lot of like writers and posters of girls in my room. Yes, and real quick. Yes. Have you watched Citrus? Oh, I find it's like a really popular anime, but I haven't watched a lot of anime recently. Yeah. And uh, I heard it's good anime. I'll put it on my to watch list. Yes? Anything else? Yes? I'm um, sorry if this uh, question was asked. Uh -huh. But you talk about uh, visual models a lot. Yes. Do you have the, like, anyone that you recommend? Yes. Um, the one I'm doing right now is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Um, it's called. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's available in English, but it's called Suga. Suga. The characters are adorable. Um, uh, if you like baking and sweets, it also revolves around like baking and sweets. This is the story of like a petitier and uh, the characters are adorable and it's just incredibly adorable. And it's in winter, it's a winter story. I love winter, so I like sugar and the most. Yes. I'm not sure if it's available in English though. Yep. Anything else? Yes. Um, well, actually, okay, uh, you, yes, first. Yes. How many things that you took me in the last time for the time? Is it me? How many things you took me in the last time for the time? Ah, don't know, because I don't really keep up with the YouTube community. I'm kind of, I'm on YouTube, but in my own world. <laughs> yes?
why I do not like wearing wigs. It's very uncomfortable <laughs> and hot. So I just, yeah, I, even though wigs look good, I just kind of resorted to, uh, I, okay, so you see kind of like part of my hair is uh, colored. The reason for that is because if I color my entire hair, it's like going to be damaged. But uh, by coloring only part of it, my hair, I can kind of have pink hair while still having healthy hair. So kind of the best of both worlds. And yeah, uh, tips for wearing wigs. I don't know. Just, I guess, top it out if you want to cause pain. That's the only thing I know. Because wigs, they hurt, they're hot. Yeah. Comfort uh, over, what was, what was it? Comfort over looks? Looks over comfort. <laughs> that kind of girl. Yep. Yep. Yes. What do you think about Nikon? Nikon. First of all, I'm amazed how huge it is. And it's the biggest convention I've ever been to. Also, I heard it's like the biggest campus, not only in Scandinavia, but like in entire Europe. And like the event, most of the events I've been to, like all the events I've been to, were only happened on the inside, like inside. But Nikon is also outside. Plus, it's not only for anime fans, but all kind of nerdy people. And also like for the LGBT community, community. So I think that Nerdcon is like, like usually like, uh, like it's huge, and like not like not only Japan or Asia team, but also kind of like for people who have like alternative hobbies, uh, who can just come together. And I think that's really amazing. So that's what I like about Nerdcon, and I hope I can come again. Because unlike other fields, 
um, they um, like the gel peel is soft. And first, before applying it to your face, it's like uh, just a gel. Then you rub it on your face, and small gel pellets form and kind of gently scrub away the dirt on your face. So gel peel and um, uh, yes, that's it. Good. Now, I don't know, uh, I heard it's popular, but I don't know how to install it on my computer. Is it a computer game or a PS4? Yeah, it's a, you can play it on the PS4 and the PC. Does it cost money? Yeah. Uh, uh huh, okay. I guess if it's that popular, I should try it. Good. <laughs> yes. Anything else? Yep. Do you prefer shopping online or in physical stores? Um, I think I shop 90% in physical stores. Yeah. But I mean, I live in Japan. I don't have to shop online. I can go to Japan. Yes? Yep. What is your opinion on Sorbet Online? Sorbet Online. Sorbet Sword Sword Online. Online. Part of it, don't know what it is. <laughs> Sorry. What is it? An anime. An anime. Is it good? Yeah. Very good? Yes. Should I watch it? Definitely. Will do. You. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You were an addict all these channels. Would you be? Hamster. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I just kind of want to. Um, Make panels and stuff a lot of food in my cheeks. <laughs> okay, we have about three five minutes left, so it's speedy time. If you want to ask anything, it's your chance now. Uh, people who haven't asked anything before, I will also pick you. So. Huh? 
and down in Hong Kong, do you remember which Hi, was your favorite? Yes, uh, Ribbon. Thanks a lot for watching this video, if you want to see my artifact cosplay showcase click on the left thumbnail or if you want to see the Q&A with the Swedish group Montefianton click on the right one. I hope you enjoyed this video and a big thank you to Venus Angelic and her manager for allowing me to upload this to my YouTube channel.